Dear uh, Vice President Professor Dr. Michael Kemper von den Boga, I'm very impressed, I have to say, after having heard you. And I'm very impressed uh, to be here in, uh, at the Humboldt University this, this evening. Plant deep roots and build strong communities. At the same time, we can fully benefit from economy of scale and free flow of trade and investment. Third, the underpinning of a more integrated Europe is citizens to understand fully these connections. A true European public debate would help us deepen our interest in each other, bridge our linguistic differences, and care more about what is happening across our borders. These are the three main themes on which I would uh, like to focus tonight. Since the very start of the global crisis. How long can we keep on listening to those lies? How long can we keep on listening to you telling us about our future can, and present while you are giving Stop. your glamorous speech right now? You will, you will have Thousands of words. people are suffering you with questions. your responsibility, your responsibility and your partners. In this translation, can you understand that? How long are you going to pretend that you are not seeing those workers out there? Of course, your security is going to tell us to shut up. No? Yet, the crisis has damaged banks. It's not a question. It's not a question. Addressing these problems needed to be done. Who is the ECB has decided that such a... Thank you very much. The next one was the young man a little bit on the right. Yeah. Good evening. My name is Denis Garnas and I'm a, I'm a lawyer from Greece, the and I'm also a student in Berlin. I would like to thank Mr. Toussaint for sharing uh, his vision for Europe today. In fact, coming from Greece, I think I can understand better than many others. What the microphone, could we change, just exchange the microphone because... You can't hear me well. I wanted to thank you for your vision and assure you that the Greeks are making all sacrifices necessary to make it come true. Cutting wages, cutting healthcare, cutting education, selling all public property and also giving their lives is what I said. I said that suicide rate in Greece has increased for 40% during the crisis. And I also said that you might be right if you think that the Greeks are responsible for what, what happened to them. So I think that you should make us pay. It's good. I would like to thank you for making us pay our debts instead of paying for our own decent survival. I want also to assure you that we keep paying until we start and our whole economy becomes a ruin. This is where my microphone is. <laughs> and I also want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your precious help through loans. You have to be sure that every single dime you give us will come back to you and to the banks you're protecting, and with high interest. Because through our sacrifice, we can pick, keep the banks safe and unaccountable. Through our sacrifice, we make your dream of Europe come true. And we can assure you that soon, Greece will be as stable as a graveyard. <laughs> around 
the European universities, among them Humboldt, the University of Hegel, as you said. I don't know if you know him anyway. But while you're having your glamorous speeches, thousands of people with your responsibility are led to poverty, unemployment, total misery, and emigration. So, yes. As we are here, yes. all, all those Greeks. Yes. Okay, you led the whole generation to total misery, poverty, and immigration, as I said before. But you can keep on taking your decisions in your quiet office and your lovely European Union committees, but we are experiencing your decisions in our everyday life, and you have no idea how, what it is like to do something like that. But remember one thing, and I'm going to leave, of course, from the room, because I don't have any more minute to hear any more lies, any more cynical lies from you. You better keep in mind that we will get rid of you. And really quick, really quick, you and your miserable partners. Very much. Very much.